Good morning guys. It is not too early. It's uh, 5.45. Just got up in the canyon. Gonna go um, glass for the morning. I can't really hunt. I can if I have to, but um, just mostly gonna see what I could see. Gonna take some pre-workout because wasn't as motivated today to get out and go. Oh, it's dark out. 25 degrees. It's cold. So we're gonna head up and pound this. Uh, warrior field pre-workout and hopefully get up the mountain in time should have about an hour and ten minutes till daylight it is <clears throat> it is cold I'm shaking oh, man ran into uh, my buddy and his buddy coming up uh, they're going up kind of that way towards where I was glassing first slide I saw two big bucks one's a four by three and one's a four point but they're big mature um, I couldn't believe the body on the four by three I didn't get the phone scope out in time to uh, film them and right away they went in into bed but then I've seen one I've seen four other bucks uh, one pretty decent one a little four by five and then a couple small ones but uh I've been seeing them all year, passed on one of them once, um, just, I'm holding out for a big one, haven't seen them yet, it's freezing cold, nothing works, batteries are dying right and left, my scope broke, <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely cold, I'm gonna sit a little bit longer, see if anything comes out, and then I'm gonna head down, come back on maybe Saturday and check some trail cameras, move them around. The deer seem to have uh, kind of changed their patterns. There's not as many as usual. So, uh, glass a little longer, head down, and uh, go to class. just walking walking out and <laughs> all these does were like 10 feet from me looking at me it's kind of funny they watched me for a sec and then ran off I think they're kind of used to people hiking by the trail there are a lot of does up here so maybe when the rut comes some of the bucks will come out but uh they'll probably just herd the does up high again but you never know might get lucky run into one on the trail Hiking out now. Oh, my feet are frozen. It is cold. But it's worth it. 
you know how you can tell when it's cold out is when water that goes is flowing downhill is rock solid freaking cold up here my bow is got frost all over it can't wait to get back up here though and hunt didn't really have time today I would have skipped class if uh, I saw a couple of the bucks I've been after but they haven't really shown up some nice ones but uh not the big big ones so the search will continue we'll go down head to class <clears throat> got moose off the trail little bullwinkle over there pick up his shed in about two months and nice pretty cow right there there's usually a big old bull in here somewhere um, that pushes the moose out or the little ones but uh, this guy seems to got himself a lady lady friend what's up guys huh you smell me <laughs> moose are cool I found a uh, dead one just the other day up on top of the mountain see, that, yeah that was crazy couldn't see any holes on her or anything uh, but looked like she uh, died somehow uh, I don't know if a big bull worked her too hard and just exhausted her or if she got sick or what. Um, but yeah, moose are awesome. I can't believe the stuff they live in. Look at these pretty fall colors. We got snow already in October. It is awesome up here. All right guys, back at the uh, house. Saw six bucks today, it was super cold. Three decent sized ones, two of them pretty big actually. I mean, not like high scores, but they're cool bucks. But I had to go to class, so I ran home and I'm eating. I have Cheerios and Honey Bunches of Oats, actually. Call me weird, but I like, I like mixing like food together because I love all the different flavors and I get sad when I can't have like two bowls of each, so I just mix them. I know I got problems. <laughs> but anyways, um, Kind of like a hunt update. I've been holding out. There's three bucks that I would shoot or really want to shoot in this area I've been hunting all year. I've gotten a couple chances at uh, a couple of them, but never had like a shot. And my dad missed one. Uh, so we've kind of had some action, but it's they don't show up a lot. Like there's a, a number of deer that are always in the area showing up. And then there's the bucks we're after and they kind of disappear for a, a while and then they'll show up for like a week and then, or I mean a couple days and then they'll disappear for a week or two. So, you know, just how big bucks are. So we're having a bit of trouble. So we, I've been holding out, holding out, that's why I haven't got anything. Uh, I'm going to keep holding out until I can get one. As for Wyoming, I went up there for two and a half days I think. And the first two days, it was just straight 40, 50 mile an hour winds, hail, rain, snow, very little deer action. And then the next, the half day, it was nice. We saw a great buck and I could only get about 600 yards from him. And then he cut up and over the mountain, I tried to get in position. We made some drives, just never got a chance. I passed up a couple bucks that were, you know, they weren't there that big. Um, would have been nice to have gotten a buck with my dad in the high country, but uh, uh, I passed on him. The video is pretty cool. I'm gonna, I've been having uh, difficulties with my uh, editing software. So I'm gonna try to get the video out as soon as I can within the week, if it lets me, uh, the Wyoming hunt. We didn't get one, but it's still cool footage and a fun hunt. Uh, I think you guys will like it. But yeah, that's kind of a hunt update. Been pretty busy trying to get this these bucks with our bows here in Utah um, we're gonna go up Saturday or I'm gonna go up Saturday put out some stealth cams some more trail cameras uh, move some of the ones I have and uh, hopefully we can get on these deer get one down 
But yeah, kind of a boring day today. After, not, I mean, the mountain was fun, but now some school and some probably some homework. So I'm going to finish my breakfast, go to class. Until next time.